Okay, just put together a new cell. Wanted to show you guys. Still using real four stainless steel blank switch plates. Changed my design a little bit. Last one I was, uh, last design I was pulling about 35 amps, which is completely, completely unacceptable. So now I've changed this to, all right, I've got, a, I've got a positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative. Negative on the outside, on this side, positive on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen plates. Got twelve washers in between each one. Five, so I'm using a five sixteenths nylon bolt. My spacing. In between is one eighth, so two uh, two sixteenth inch washers. I was using these washers in between. Those are nylon. See how big they are. And I found these really small, still five sixteenths whole but yet it doesn't cover up the electrode as much as that does so I get a little bit more surface area out of my plates so that's what I'm using in between I want to hook this up to my just got done making this I want to hook this up to this and uh, see how many liters per minute we're going to get First, I just wanted to show you this cell, this new cell in action. Just completed it about 10 minutes ago. Got this running through an amp meter. Hold on one sec. Now she's rolling. I am getting, let's see, this time, well, it's jumped up a little bit. It's like I'm about 26 amps, 26 amps. I've got one teaspoon of electrolyte in this. About two, almost two liters of water. Uh, I want to show you that coming off of there. Now that is generating a lot of HHO. Can't wait to get this. Get this on the tester, see how much it's producing. You can see the vapor coming off of it. And this, this water is stone cold too. That is amazing. Anyway, let me hook this up and uh, we'll see see what she does. Be right back. I've got this thing set up. Um, I've run several tests. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, my last test I just ran. I did achieve one liter per minute. Um, right now the water 
I put hot water in it so the water's hot. Um, I also put three ta three teaspoons of baking soda um, to get the one liter per minute. And I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Okay, let's start it up. Start the stopwatch. Um, Fifteen seconds. And now that's twenty five seconds, so a little bit better. To one liter a minute on that test. Twenty-five seconds for five hundred milliliters. The price we pay for that is looks like about forty-one amps. So not very efficient. Eleven point six three volts. Water was hot. All right, we're going to. I'm going to break this cell down again. I'm going to put in uh, a few more neutral plates and uh, run these tests again. Before I tore this down, I wanted to try one one last thing. What I've done is I've wrapped electrical tape around this cell. At the bottom, left an opening. And what I want to try and do is I want to see if that'll create a little current inside the container, pulling the water in from the bottom and flushing the bubbles, HHO bubbles, off the plates. And see if we can get a little bit more production out of it just by just by doing that. So, set this up. Hard to do with one hand, but start this over. All right, just wait for the cloth to get down to the bottom here. Coming up on fifteen seconds. No, actually twenty nine seconds. So, looks like there wasn't any change by doing that. Um, Twenty-nine seconds, that's just a little over a liter a minute. 
And I am still about 41 amps, so not too efficient. Okay, now I'm going to break the cell down and, and uh, put in a couple more neutral plates and uh, back with my next video.